Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an object reference not set to an instance of an object in a Microsoft Visual Studio. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this problem. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing, and this will probably be the easiest solution if possible, would be to open up the search icon and type in Visual Studio. Go ahead and right click on the application and select open file location. And now right click on this shortcut for Visual Studio and select run as administrator. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If not, now that we already have Visual Studio open, go ahead and open it up if it's not in your case. And you want to go and select the file tab up at the top left. You want to select the help tab and select check for updates. And it might be already up to date. So if it's not, go ahead and update that. Something else we could try here as well would be to go ahead and select file, new, project. Now you also want to select extensions and select manage extensions. Select the updates button on the left side. And if, nothing, if there is an extension that's not up to date, make sure you go ahead and update that from this point. Now, if you're still having a problem, select Tools. And now you want to go select Get Tools and Features. Now you want to make sure ASP.NET and Web Development. Go ahead and left click on that. Make sure it's checkmarked in here. And then select the, all the options over here on the right side. So make sure they're all checkmarked. And then select Modify. There might also be an option that says, so you're going to go ahead and select continue. So this is about 9 gigabytes in size. I really do not feel like waiting and letting this, you know, take up a large amount of my hard drive here. So I'm actually just going to pause it and just end this tutorial here. But it is about 10 gigabytes in size to install all of them. And that's about it. So just want to put that out there, guys. But that should hopefully resolve the problem as well. That should definitely, you know, be something I would take a look at if the other two options just trying to update the extensions and updating the actual Visual Studio suite is not resolving the problem for you. And you can also try restarting the application and restarting your computer as well. I figure most of the people that are actually searching for this video probably have already have tried some of these more basic steps, but I think checking the extensions at the end, especially with looking through the web development tools, I think that probably was the missing ingredient basically if you want to you know talk in metaphors but pretty straightforward process guys I do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye